Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. We are here with Hostage Negotiator. And originally we were here something even better in that I was missing a an, abduct, an abductor set. I didn't realize I was missing it. And I was missing this one. And so I opened it on camera and looked through the cards and everything. And, well, I didn't have it. So this is Misha. And she is a... Uh, social media diva. Misha is a social media celebrity. She is all about fame, follows, likes, and trolling her opponents. Her content makes her fam favorite among her loyal fans. Fans who will do anything for her. Hundreds of fans showed up to meet and greet at a local mall. But Misha has just as many antagonists who feel mocked by her videos. They came to, pro to protest and disrupt her event. At first, the influencers thought it was funny to rabble around the crowd, but it soon turned violent and Misha's composure broke. Misha is unarmed, but not all her fans are. The altercations escalate and dreams of the incident going vile, viral. So this is like, this is really good. I like this setup. Um, she has this paranoia card. And so she has, first of all, that she's bored. And then it will turn over to that she is scared. Uh, which is really kind of interesting. Unfortunately, people will die on this. You make an initial roll. And whatever it is, uh, that one, someone died. Oops. And you do it for one conversation point. Um, she has a whole bunch of petty demands. So she has the, the regular escape demands and the regular... Demands and but she has a bunch of pay demands. Uh, four of these go into the deck, and unfortunately, the penalty is is usually pretty mellow. Uh, except you have some stuff that will happen based on how many of these petty demands that you have, and how many demands have been met. So you get to actually meet some of these demands. It's actually can be. It's actually kind of nice. Uh, this one is really tough. For each demand under Misha, plus one to the terror roll. So, meet me at the table and let's play Hostage Negotiator. <laughs> We have our major demand, our escape demands. We have 12 terror cards, including the gold pivotal card. We have 11 hostages. We are set on five. Conversation levels at zero. We have our paranoid card. So let's find out and pay one conversation point and get a six. Oh, that's a nice one. One saved hostage right off the bat. Fantastic. All right. So hostage negotiator, these are all important cards. And we have three cards. And we have, what are your demands? Now, we want to have the demands because if there's an unmet demand, we're in trouble. Problem is, we can end up using the rest of our cards. We do want her to keep cool so that her demand level goes down and we get more dice. But we got a long ways to go for that. And small talk, which we desperately need to buy cards with. All three cards are really super important and to get them right every time. So we are going to start with what are your demands? And the reason we start with that is if you have an unrevealed demand and one of your cards comes up and says there's an un thing to make, it gets worse. So Let's roll. Double success. So we get our one back that we plus two. We get to reveal a demand. We'll reveal the major demand. Spend five conversation to concede during any conversation for release two. You may add plus one to all future paranoia rolls up to a maximum of six. Slide this demand under Misha. 
this is going to be fun. And let's, what are your demands again? We have one success, which means we do get one. Uh, spend four to concede during any conversation for flip the paranoia card to the side of your choice for the rest of the game during all threat rolls. If you roll a six, perform the six listed action on the current paranoid side. During the th all threat rolls, if you roll a six, perform the six action listed. Oh, that is actually really good at the end. That would be nice. So this is interesting. I don't have ever gotten to this point with uh, cards in tow. Now the question is, do I want to go for small talk and get some cards? Or do I want to reduce the horror level? I am going to go with small talk. Uh, I normally have not. But I'm going to take a chance. <laughs> we have... Partial success. And I'm going to spend my two keep cool to make it into a... Oh. Yeah, I'm going to spend my two. That's actually not a very good, but it would end the conversation. Otherwise, and we'll do small talk again. Double success. That is good. Plus three. One, two, three. So this is interesting. I normally don't get that high right off the bat. So first thing we're going to do, these cards go off to the side. We don't get them again. We are going to have a Just Stay Calm. I'm going to do two Just Stay Calms. No, we're going to do, you need to trust me. And what I really meant to say was, so this is our reroll card. So we have three cards for next turn, depending on how we want to do it. There is no killer action or phase. There's no, uh, we just did the upkeep phase. There's no uh, killer action and there's no minion action. We just go right to the terror card, which says, Oh, a moment of weakness. That is actually really good. That's two. Okay, turn number two begins with a paranoia roll. We have a six, so we lose another. We gain, we gain a hostage. She loses one. This is good. I would have actually preferred a five because that's at negative one. We start with... You need to trust me. So what this is going to do is threes and fours. So partial successes become a full success. And of course, we're going to play Just Stay Calm. And that gives us a success and a partial success, which is a double success, down to two. Perfect. Could not ask for a better turn, except if I had more cards. We have no conversation points to purchase. We put these back. We get our zeros as part of our upkeep phase. This resets to one, and we draw a terror card. Terror card says, Petty Demand. Concede four, minus one. This card is placed under Misha, or roll a Paranoia and discard this card penalty. If after resolving this demand, the threat is one or S, immediately draw and resolve the next Terror card. Okay. We're good. That, oh, is one or S, and draw the next card. Oh, goodness.
if after resolving this demand, so if I say no, we just do a paranoia, I'll take my chances on the paranoia roll rather than drawing the next terror card. Oh, good question. Terror card works as our timer. Paranoia has a 50% chance of being very bad. We're going to do and resolve. Make a threat roll. So the good news is I have three. All I need is one. And we have one. Okay, so this goes underneath here. I think we'll do this. We have one more escapee. And that ends turn number two. Turn number three. Okay, so we start with a minus one of the conversation. We roll and we have another hostage out. Holy cannoli. Can we draw it? Roll a five, please. So the first card I'm going to roll to do is I'm pretty sure small talk. And the reason I'm going to do small talk is, first of all, we don't need what are your demands. Those can now be used to resolve partial successes. And I have a what I meant was. So. Wow, they are rolling well today. So we're at plus two. We're going to do small talk again. I'm sorry, we're not going to do keep. We're going to do small talk again. I forgot I have three dice to roll. Double success. So we get three more. One, two, three. I am really tempted to... Keep cool. And the reason I'm going to do the keep cool is I do want it down here. Because if we get it out, then everyone more. Plus, if I roll a double here with two dice. Okay, so now we have... What do I want to do? I am going to do the what are your demands. That gives me a plus one that's not necessarily the best of management, but it gets me down to zero. So the good news is we're down to zero and we're going to be safe here. I'm going to hang on to these two cards to next turn because I don't know what the tarot card is going to do. And there is a plus two potential to be in there. So we're going to go on ahead and go move to the upkeep phase. We have six points to spend. We're going to go with You need to trust me for two. Just stay calm for two more. And just a few more minutes. We're going for the points here. So that takes us to zero. So that gives us a total of five cards. This is interesting because I've been playing more towards the uh, conversation points. But... I was also had three rolls to get people out. So I don't know how well it's actually working. Okay. Terror phase. And here we go. There's a plus one. This is why you reveal your demands. And if you don't, you're in a world of trouble. Plus one, but we're still at one. So this is actually a good thing. And that's actually why I kind of kept the focus card. 
Um, I might, I don't know which one I'll play next, but let's move to turn number four. Okay, so we're going to start with her paranoia roll. We still have six, so it is still on this side. And we get five, we get a plus two right off the bat. That's really nice. Hopefully we can add to that. I'm going to go with just keep cool. And the reason I'm going to go with keep cool is in case this goes up by one. So I don't want this to go up by one. And worse yet, I don't want, well, it's not going to go up by, I really don't want it to go up by two. So we get three dice to roll. We get a double success. And we get a minus one, plus one, and then we go for just, just a few more minutes. Okay. Let's re-roll one die. We're going to re-roll one die. And we get a partial. We will... I forgot to play that. Okay, we are going to go on ahead and keep that as a single success. Uh, we'll take the plus one and plus three. One, two, three. And that will be it for right now. So we get our zero cost cards back. These go out of the way, including this zero cost card. And we have five to purchase with. I am going to... Okay, I'm going to go with a bold lie. Which is to reduce this way down. Yes, we're going to go over to the other side. But I'm okay with that. And what I meant was... That's our five points that we get to spend. And... We go to the terror phase. Tarot card says, Minor demand, water, concede after any uh, conversation for plus one when any threat roll failed during this conversation. I kind of like that one. That might be well worth conceding. All right. So that's the end of turn number four. Turn number five. So we start with our paranoia check, one conversation point, flip the card to the scared side. Oh, that is not good. So we have two killings, plus one to terror level, minus one to terror level, resolve the next terror card, and plus three conversation. So this could very well be interesting as to how this works out. So we are going to start with, you need to trust me. Three successes. That's, that's plenty good. I wish there was something good for three successes. So until the end of the conversation, all threes and fours become successes. This is very good. We want to do just stay calm. Small talk, what are your, okay, we don't need, what are your demands? We have a bold lie. Small talks and keep cool. Okay, I think I'm going to go with a bold lie. I don't know. This would be good in the event of ca something catastrophic happens. 
this just gets one more person out. So let's roll for a plus three. Come on. Three die. Here we go. One and a partial. Just take... I'm not going to spend two cards. I don't want to spend anything else. So I don't get that much out of it. Probably should have just said that I keep cool. Okay, let's go with small talk. Double success and a partial. So this is good. We go back up. We're at plus two. Ah, keep moving things all over the place. Let's go with small talk again. Double success. One, two, three. I'm going to hold on to these two. We're going to do a keep cool. Let's try and get one more person out. Um, it is not worth paying two cards. I will just take the one person out. So that gives us, what, four, five, and six. Now, good news, unless she takes more hostages, this is actually kind of a win, at least a partial win for us. So that's, that's the good news there. I am not going to do anything else. Oh, I'm sorry. I got this. That's a double success. So I get one more point. And I have... One more there, so one more person comes out. Oh, I forgot about this. I gotta have some way to make that more obvious, I guess. Okay, that leaves four people in. And. Oh, a bold lie is so tempting. Okay, we're gonna go with a bold lie. I'm going to take my chances with everything. And the reason for the bold lie is I will get three people out right off the bat. Two partials, but that's... Those are good. There's one, two, three. One more left. I wish I had some more cards to play. Um... I am going to play What Are Your Demands, and I'm doing this for conversation points. That's also one success. That's plus one. And that's all. That's enough. That's enough. That's all. So we are going to discard these cards. We get back the one keep cool. I am going to go with, please tell me we've got something else good in here. No. Just stay calm. Well, that's two. That takes us to five. No. We're going to do this one, which takes us to three. I have two more. Okay, and I am going to do you need to trust me. So, there we go. I might just... 
Got one. I can only really get one. Two. Oh, I can end the game next turn, depending on the terror card. Okay, that ends our upkeep phase. And we move to the terror card. Pay to man. Conceive for minus one, place this card under Misha. Uh, yeah, we will do this. Not a problem. Because the minus one means we have rescued all the hostages. Tariff card? Roll a die. Doesn't matter. There's no one there to die. And again, why we show the demands right away. Okay, that's the end of turn number five. The sixth round. Okay, so we start with a paranoia roll, which is going to be interesting because the only thing that can... There's a couple things that can actually hurt me. Let's find out. Four. Resolve the next red terror card. Concede for... Technically, the game is now over. Or roll a paranoia to discard. I'm going to actually roll a paranoia to discard this card. One. No one dies. That's kind of why I did that. I'm not too sure how to resolve the paranoia. Because she should resign. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to concede water. So if any threat roll fails... We're bad. But we also have uh, four dice. You need to trust me. Double success on four die. That means threes and fours are a success. Hopefully I'm going to remember this. And... We're going to play Just Stay Calm. Why? Because if we have one success, we win. <gasps> okay, we're going to re-roll for one die. And one success. Oh my goodness. That was not what I wanted. Oh. So she resigns. She gives up. She has no hostages. At S. And this is why you get to S. As fast as you can. Because you get hostages out. You don't have to rely on the goodness of. Your. Abductor. I hope you have enjoyed this. Please make sure that you like and subscribe. And I will see you again and have a fantastic day. Please like and subscribe.